so today I thought we'd have a change um, and go back to doing some 2D things. I thought we'd do some collage creatures. Um, so I've just taken a magazine and chopped out some butterflies and a little bit of um, sort of summer garden. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, I'm just going to do some playing. So as I play, I'm going to do it in hyperlapse. And hopefully you'll get some ideas of, of what to do and the type of thing that you could do if you mix and match some different materials. I'm probably going to use watercolour and pencils, coloured pencils and glue and a little bit of collage, as I say. OK, see you soon. Okay, I've got to let him dry now. Um, so this character was all about the butterflies, so it was all about the tummy, butterflies in the tummy. So that's where they went. And if you can see his wee face, I'm going to put some pen over him when he's dry. He's got a wee crown of flowers and a butterfly there and a little butterfly on the very tip of his nose. And then I've tried to pull the colours out of the green floral bit that I've collaged so there's green and that cerise pink and then as you go down to his legs they get all stripy like the antennae on the butterfly so it's a bit scary doing this as a as a film for you but I find that if you use a bit of collage for a start you've got rid of that um, that white piece of paper that's quite daunting to start with you've got Magazines are very shiny, so they don't take the watercolour, so that's nice. You can put things down and just sort of flow the watercolour up to them. And it just gives you a wee thought. Whatever picture you've chosen is a wee thought that you can then run with and make a lovely character out of. Okay, I'll pen round him in a wee minute and then I'll finish up.
is finished, the sweet character who's nervous and gentle with his butterfly tummy and his butterflies all around him. Please share any collages that you do, send them in to me somehow, um, that would be really lovely. Have fun, take care.